When I post live streams after I finish posting them, they don't get uploaded uploaded until tomorrow. So they don't get like uploaded and like published on YouTube until tomorrow. So if you want to check them out, make sure you go to my go to my channel and click on playlist and see Persona 5 Royal to watch all of my live streams in it. Alright, and after that, let's get let's kick it in. Not kick it in, let's get into it. Get into it. Let me stop. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen the live stream, I suggest go watch it, because now, Makoto, not really spoilers, is there anything? Yeah, Makoto is calling us, she wants us to see the chapter. That's interesting. Expected. Have a seat. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. This is why we don't like green. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always, but his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals, after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. 
Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? What do you want to do? Hmm. What do you want to do? That is good to hear.
That's not bad. <laughs> that sounds lovely. Goodbye then. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about?! That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous phantom thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke.
the student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? <sighs> Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Oh, right! That might make people believe in us! I get it! That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves! What do you say, leader? Hell yeah! We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Well, I so... The Sayori. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. 
Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori, her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But, if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. You would? W wonderful! At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Rain, huh? Just add this. We'll see you guys. Hide in both places. 